In this video, we'll talk about color and specifically how to select and use and manage colors for your projects, um, for web projects and any other projects, actually. So I'm on a site here called color.adobe.com and it has a bunch of different options for selecting colors, saving colors to your color library in your Creative Cloud apps. So the first section here is called Create. So here I can create a color situation and then I can explore the different co color harmony rules. And then we have Explore. Explore is a section where you can explore colors and color panels, uh, palettes that are people already created, people from all over. Um, so you can search by particular, let's say that I want to search for um, Seascape or something like that. And color, pa color palettes are tagged in specific ways. So you can see um, colors uh, here that are related to the sea. Um, we also have trends. And these are different trends that are happening for color. You can explore different things for graphic design, for illustration, architecture, game design, all kinds of different stuff. And then libraries are your libraries. Right now, I don't have anything in my library, so that's what we're going to create. Over on the right-hand side, you want to make sure that this option has your user profile. So you need to be logged in so that anything that you create here will be saved to your Adobe Creative Cloud library. So we'll go back to the Create section. And I, what I want to do is I want to create a new section for my library. So I'm going to click this plus button here. I'm just going to call this uh, theme and click create. And then you can name it whatever you want to. I'm just going to call this app theme. And then you can apply tags if you want to as well. So then what do I do? How do I select colors? So on this color wheel, I have all these different colors and those dots that appear here uh, translate to what you see on the color wheel itself. So if I move the green around, you'll see that that green color is shifting. And here it's giving me the RGB color values. If you want to see that in CMYK, you can switch it to CMYK. You can switch it to HSB or you can switch it to lab color. So I'm going to stick with RGB since um, dealing with web colors. This last item is for uh, the luminosity. So if you have a base color that you got maybe from a Pantone color from a library, you can plug that color in here and then this will populate. So switching over to Adobe XD, I have a color board, an artboard here, where I've got a key color that I want to use. And this is the color that I want to use to get my other colors. And so I'm going to do is going to copy the hex code for this color. I'm going to go back to the color uh, window and I'm just going to go ahead and paste that in and hit return and that will populate that. So now this is my primary color. You see that this little arrow indicates the base color. And then I have some exploration options so I can choose an analogous colors. So these are colors that are close to each other. You can see on the color wheel. Those are close to each other. As I drag the base color around, you see that all those other colors move around. So, but I want to get back to my base color, so I'm just going to paste that in again and hit return. Uh, monochromatic, you see that most of the colors line up on the same spine here. So they all line up within the same color theme or the color family. Uh, for triad, you'll see that they split across the color wheel. So I'm getting split complementary, I mean, I'm getting complementary colors. There is complementary, which is directly opposed across. So anytime you see blue, orange is usually the complementary color for blue. Then split complementary, double split complementary, square, compound, shades, and then custom would be whatever you would apply. 
So what I would do for Adobe XD is I would note these hex colors. I would take those notes down. Then I can apply those to different boxes or shapes inside of XD. Then I can save that as a color theme. Um, if I want to extract the theme, uh, that's a different option. But I'm going to go ahead and save this one first. So that's going to save to theme inside of my color library. Now Adobe XD doesn't have a color extension, but Adobe Illustrator does. Um, so if I'm logged into the same library, I see here's my theme library, and there's the colors that I just saved. So it's available to me, and I can use them in my Adobe Illustrator projects. Going back to the color app, uh, under Extract Theme, if you have an image, you can drag the image. So if I drag an image here, it'll then extract a theme from that image. So you can go ahead and you can save that if you wanted to. Uh, also under Extract Gradient, it can extract a gradient from, a th from an image. And then there's some accessibility tools, which will show you, let's say if I typed in my, or I pasted in my base, um, text color would be, let's say that I want to make my text color black. So that would be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then my background color would be white. So F, 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 F. And then my contrast ratio looks right. It's just telling me that this is going to be good for accessibility uh, with the WCAG level uh, set to AA. So I'm pretty good if I'm using black. If I'm using yellow on the background color, it's probably not going to be a good. But this is a new tool that's been added to Adobe Color. So if you, once you have your base color and you plug in your base color, and you can start working with the color harmony rules. You can start exploring different combinations of colors. And you don't have to use all of these colors. You can use um, all of them. You can use a few of them. It's completely up to you. Color is very subjective, but this is a great starter tool to start exploring colors, to start saving them to libraries, to start using them in your projects. So really take advantage of this, bookmark this site, and play with it.